Right. Is this what you do all day? Yeah, why are we videotaping? Why, why are you laying on the casting couch? Because you were behind my desk. Our desk. Our desk. <laughs> are you ready to have a fun day at work today, Connor? <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. <laughs> Come on, we got something to do. You ready? What are we doing? We got a drill. Stud bolts out of a head, out of an LS head. And we're going to show everybody on YouTube how to properly do that with the right tools. <laughs> Where's the right tools? <laughs> you have them. Oh. Right. Okay. Are you excited? Let's go. All right, yay! What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. <laughs> I hope everything's going great with you guys. We have a Cobalt SS back here with the transmission out. Unfortunately, one of Connor's good old fun jobs that I'm actually kind of helping him out with, uh, doing a clutch and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the supercharger's off of it, doing some things to that, all that fun jazz. It's an 05, so it is a supercharge, not a turbo setup. Yeah, where do you put the supercharger anyway? I put it over there. Oh, okay. It's on my cart that you obviously oh. st stole, my cheap ass little cart. That you stole, so the supercharger's sitting there. Thank you very much for stealing my shit. And scarving bubbles. Unbelievable. But basically, what this video is going to be about is we're going to show you guys how to properly drill uh, bolts. At, what are you doing, dude? Scrubbing oh bubbles. God. We're going to show you guys how to drill bolts out of an LS head. We have one sitting here off of a truck, and I figured um, we'd show you how to do it. So we have two broken ones off. This is a 799 head, obviously. So it's an 08 and up, uh, 5.3 liter. And um, this happens a lot with these, uh, with these engines. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, the stock manifolds will flex on the ends, out and in with uh, heat and cold, and they actually will snap the heads clean off of the bolts, only on the end ones for some reason. So, I guess Connor's gonna get all the equipment out that we're gonna need. Wow, Connor's singing. Please don't sing anymore, Connor. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Oh, we have an update. We hung banners up here in the shop, which is actually really freaking cool, to be honest. So we got, we got good old uh, Lunati hung up right here. And then we got her on speed. Here, let's go over here and take a gander and look at it. We got the good old Huron Speed uh, one up, the Cooks ones over there. I've got my backwards Chevy flag, which when I hung this up above good old Bob the Builder here, I didn't realize I hung it up backwards. So I've got to turn that around one of these days, not today. And then cold air inductions is up in the front here. We have the cold air inductions uh, banner up in the front. And the G-Force racing equipment banner is up in the shop as well. Trying to make it look a little nicer in here. We do want to get more banners up on these uh, ceiling area, these beams. So if anybody is watching this and they have banners that they want to send us for their company or whatever, we will be more than happy to hang them up to spruce up the shop a little bit and make it look like a shop and not like an empty cavern of concrete, which would be awesome. Hi, buddy. Hi. So obviously what we have here is we have a good old snap. Oh my God. That's the drill. We have a good old snap on drill bit set. We have, what's this guy here? We have the nice little re-threading set, restore re-threading set, which is very, very good to have. And we have a good old DeWalt drill right here as well. Plug in for drillings. Do not use battery operated junk. It's kind of a sucky thing. So basically we're gonna um, make an indentation on well, both of these to start our drilling. What? Oh my God. We're gonna start with a little indentation here. Basically uh, that way the drill bit will catch and we are drilling center in these holes. So uh, let's do that first. All right, so hold on Connor. Oh my God. So we're gonna have Connor do the indentations on this. All right, buddy? You think you can, you think you can do it? Make sure it's center. What are, you, what are you doing? It's center. That's not center, dude. Like it freaking knocks all over the place now. That is center. One right there. big long tap. That's it. That's it. 
That's all you need to do is one long day. That's a nice one. Now, let's do the other one. That's center. I told you. Yeah, you're nice. like hitting it five million times. Making a nice indentation. Right in the center. That's it. One time. That's all you got to do it. Okay, two times, whatever. And then we have a center punch. Well, that one's a little off, but. Yeah, it'll work. That'll work. Now we start. Oh, my God. <laughs> now we start out with a little bit of PB Blaster. Right there. Right there. And hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Safety first. I have them. They're right here. No, they're mine, Goofy. They're yours. Un unbelievable. Let the guys. driller not be able to see. Ugh. Always got to do safety first, guys. Freaking, so we got the first drill bit done. Um, a very nice centered hole. We're gonna go ahead and, since we have the drill bit in the drill, we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. And then we're gonna move up to the next step, which we'll show you in the next clip here, of us going up to the next step, which is gonna be a little bit bigger than the first one. And he's there center punching again. I'm teaching Connor all kinds of new and cool things, guys. Am I? No. He's lying, don't believe a word he's saying. Well, small bits out. That's all out. So now we're going to move up to a little bit bigger of a bit. Always don't forget, like I said, PB Blaster. Keep that lubricated and you won't be eating up your bits. Right, Connor? That's right. Keep what exact size is that, Connor? No, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just a little bit bigger. Who cares? Right? Right. Right. Lube her up. There we go. I'm lube, lube. lube. Alright, so we have the holes a little bit bigger as you guys can plainly see. Definitely a good way to do it is step up your drill bits. Do not just go straight in with one big drill bit. Uh, start out small and work your way up. Connor is actually going to try to use the snap-on easy outs again, I guess is what you call them. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do a little different this time. Do you think this is going to work? Oh boy, doggy. Don't snap that sucker off in the head. That would suck if you did that. <laughs> I got it. Man, I don't know, buddy. You might be careful with that. Don't slice your hand on that, that head. It's, it will bleed. Ready to come out yet. Well, that was worth a try. It was worth a try. It's worth a try. Maybe one more drill bit up. Possibly. Possibly. I think we can do uh, one more up here. That's a, that's probably what we're gonna need right there. Is this guy here? I think this is the one that I used last time that actually grabbed it, like halfway down and grabbed it and yanked it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I think that one will be the one that we will use. All right. Give her hell, Vern. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I thought it grabbed it. Did it grab it? Why does it look like it grabbed it and started bringing it out a little bit? Definitely did. Yeah, it grabbed it. Cool, now we can get the easy out. So the drill, the left-handed drill bit, grabbed that bolt and started twisting it out. So now we can pull this thing out of here. And get on the other side here so you have a little bit more room, boss. And there she is, guys. There she is. How many threads do we have left? <laughs> a whole bunch. A whole bunch of threads left in there, so we're good to go. Hopefully the same thing happens with this one, which I'm pretty sure it will. Pretty sure. Oh, Alright, looks like we got this one out with the easy out. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, she coming. Is she coming? Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, ho, doggy. That's basically what it looks like, guys. That's the end of the bolt right there. As you can see, we drilled. That's actually a really nice straight drill there, buddy. Check that out when yeah. you drill through. Right on the dollar there for that one, guys. Second one's coming out. There she is. Look at that. That one was a little off, but that's okay. So basically what we're gonna have to do now, real quick, is we're gonna re-thread both these holes, clean up these threads, make them look really, really good again. Um, even though we cut a few threads out of this part of the head and there are, you know, I would say maybe about five threads down, there is a lot more thread in this head left in order to, um, you know, get a bolt in there with a header and to make sure uh, it does not pop out or come out by itself or anything of that nature so if you take a few threads out of the end there not that big of a deal guys if you feel unsafe about it which i obviously don't what you can do is you can drill that completely out and also do an easy out as well which is not a bad idea sometimes and there's the re-threader right there we're testing it out make sure it's the right thread basically you stick it in there put a socket i think it's a half inch or 13 millimeter socket on the end there with a ratchet and you clean all the threads up back down in the head both sides actually it's going in by hand as you can see it's not even uh don't even need anything look at that would you would you look at that basically what you want to do is you run it all the way down until it bottoms out and then you bring it back out again <laughs> i was gonna end this video now he wants brake clean He's like go get the brake clean andy ah. Got a brake clean here. Nah, that one's kind of empty. I was, I already grabbed, I tried to grab that one. Get us some good old brake clean here. We're gonna spray the holes out and uh, make sure they're nice and clean. Then we are gonna clean the head up. There's, as you can see, there's a lot of metal inside the runners. I'll set that thing up here in a little bit. I'll spray it all down, blow it all out, all that fun jazz. But uh, watch your eyes there, boss. And get this guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice and clean, fresh holes for new bolts. They just look like the rest of them. That's basically how you drill out an LS head that have broken bolts in it, guys. It's not that difficult, you just gotta take your time. It is a little time consuming. Have the right tools, obviously. Good old Connor here had the correct tools we can use and uh, make that happen, which I'm very thankful for, Connor. Thank you very much. If you guys need a tow, call Connor. He'll tow your shit all over the place. And he's working on stuff too. Cars and shit. He's trying to turn wrenches. He's doing a good job. Right, buddy? Right. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a huge favor. Thank you for all the support on the channel recently. The last few videos have been doing freaking amazing. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if like there's more engagement, if people are more interested, but I am very, very thankful for that. Um, like usual, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that good old subscribe button and that notification bell. And I guess I'll see you in the next video, guys. Deuces.